fuck wants ham and cheese sandwich at 9 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, who wants ham and cheese ever, really? It just has to be like 11 to 1. That's it. You're only allowed to have ham yes. and cheese. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, morning. Hey, Christy. Right. How's it so, going? Not much. Yeah, I'm not here for uh, pleasantries. We're not talking about that stuff today. Oh, I, okay, fine. Straight to the point. Yep. Yeah, this is business. <laughs> this is a business call. Ah. Uh, and like, I don't want to yes. be like this. Okay. Dick's right. business is called today. Oh, uh, yes, of course. We've got a mystery. And you're at the center of it, oh. Christy. Me? Need... An elite team of private detectives. What if balloons are aliens? Like maybe that's the key component we're missing. Cover-ups. John's guilty. Mysteries that need to be solved. Maybe Mormons need mountains. Richard, shut up. You're the center of it. I need to solve it. Now, you're aware of our 1-800 number, correct? I am, yes. Have you ever called the 1-800 number? Have you ever heard what it says? Um, I haven't had the pleasure, unfortunately, because down here in Australia, obviously, our phone companies run by kangaroos and koalas and it doesn't connect you can't keep using the kangaroos as a scapegoat i'm on dick mode right now i'm on to you i'm watching <laughs> no it doesn't unfortunately it doesn't connect for us aussies so but we'll have to rectify that i think the, the wallaby and the kangaroo no more they don't they're scapegoat no <laughs> more okay it's the emu's fault then all right well i'm going to show you <laughs> what the okay. uh 1-800 number actually sounds like if i can oh let's see if you can hear it so this is when they call this is what it says thank you for calling private dicks detective agency if you're calling to suggest a case for the dicks to solve leave a message after the tone if richard is your favorite dick you're dumb he's dumb if you think rj is the best you are smart he is the funniest if you think rick is the best dick hang up the phone if you want to tell us how amazing we all are, leave a message after the tone. So, basically, just leave a message after the tone. That's been live since Private Dicks has been live, even before. Because I wanted to get case on cases early. And I've gotten a few calls. You're, I, I've been getting uh, voicemails. Did you know that? Did I show you any voicemails that I got? Um, I haven't heard any, but I know you've had a few left. Yes. I've had, I've had a couple calls. First call is about you. And we're going to, I'm going to show you that call. I don't know who called. I don't, I have, but I, this, you're at the center of this mystery now. So just... um, I'm not sure if this is more appropriate for private dicks or unethical, um, but I'd really oh just gosh. like someone to prove whether or not Christy really is from Australia. Uh, I know that she <laughs> says she is and, uh, talks with an accent and has all these stories from Australia, but we don't really know that she is a verified expert. Um, and I really just worry because she gives up her opinion a lot, uh, especially when it comes to the great uh, emu war. So if we could just dig into that a little bit, I really appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Are you fucking Australian? I need to know. you got to prove it. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> um, sure. Uh, sure. Rick. Uh, sorry. I mean, Richard, uh, what, uh, <laughs> what is it um, you would like me to do? I don't know. You got to prove it. You know what I told Oscar? I was going to do this. And Oscar said, mm. that's like a teacher going to the chalkboard, drawing a triangle. And then they ask you, what shape is that? And you go a triangle. And the teacher goes, prove it. <laughs> He's, he's exactly right because I'm just like I'm literally sitting in Australia right now and I'm like that's a room you could be anywhere I could I'm in uh I'm in Egypt right now I'm in actually uh that's full. That's you gotta be true. able to prove it somehow is there some sort of swear only Aussies know is there some sort of uh what's your national well, anthem let's hear your national anthem sing a bit of it it sucks. Oh, so every national, there's no national anthem that's like a bopper. No one's like, about- <laughs> I can't wait to hear the national anthem of China. It's fucking wicked. <laughs> no one gives a shit about any national anthem. Let's hear it though. What do you got? It's it's advanced Australia fair. You said that's words that aren't a song. What do you mean? I always said, sing that. I want to hear you. Get it. Oh. Get those pipes. <laughs> Australians, oh, let us rejoice for we are young and free. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no, that's enough. 
Okay. Well, that was, you know what? Ours goes like this. Ours is, oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Our yes. home and native. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? done? And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yours has, it sounds like you're going to fight. <laughs> It's so weird because Australians know the words to the Canadian national anthem, the American national anthem, the English national anthem. Like we know the words to so many different national anthems. It's, it's weird. See, that's what it's now you're just, you're disproving that you're Australian right now. Uh, why? Because I know so many national. Yeah, exactly. You could be from any, any nation now. I was trying because, to get on your side here. It's because we're, we're all like mutts. Like Australians are just all mixed in, like thrown together. Prisoners. Yeah, pretty much. What else we got for Christy to get, know you're Australian. What's a, uh, um, what's, oh God, what's the, what what's I the do? national dish? What's the national animal? Australia? Sure that's probably easy. It's probably a fucking kangaroo. Yeah. The, like I, I can't remember when I said it. I think, I can't remember who I said it to the other day, but um, we're pretty much the only country in the world that eats the animals that are on our coat of arms. That's true. Yeah. The kangaroo and the emu, we, we actually eat them. So what else? What um, is something truly Australian about you? Truly deep down. Have you um, killed an alligator me? with your hands? Have you killed an alligator no. with your hands? See, I would no. believe that you're Australian. No, but just... I've, kill, I've, I've killed a I've killed a huntsman spider with my hands. Is that supposed to be scary to me? Well, huntsman spiders are the the big ones. Like they can be as big as your hand, and they literally just live like they all come out in winter time. Actually, like the it's we're coming into huntsman season now. Like we'll have heaps of them in our house. That's disgusting. <laughs> They're as big as my face. Like they can do they jump on you? They can jump, but they're pretty. They're real like sneaky. Like you'll see them, they'll be in one spot in the house for like two weeks. Like they'll sit in one spot, won't move. And then one day you'll come out and they'll be gone. And then a couple of days later, you'll find them on like the other side of the house, just in another room. And it's like, you sneaky motherfucker. (laughs) And okay, tell me about the time you killed with your bare hands and I'll see if you're Australian or not. Uh, I'll make the judgment after that. How did you, what did you do? Um, Oh, it was just on the wall. Like I walked as I was walking down the hallway, I saw her out of the corner of my eye. And before I like even registered, I was like, that's a fucking spider. And I just went like that and squished it. And then I took my hand off and I was like, wow, that was really big. Uh, <laughs> can they, can they bite you? They can, but they're not venomous. But they'll, they'll take a chunk. Yeah. And they're super hairy. Like they're those types of spiders that have got lots of hair all over their legs. So they're real. They don't feel very good. My God. Okay, you're Australian. If you don't barf after that, you're Australian. <laughs> if you laugh after that, yeah. I, I whoever called in, thanks for calling. I, I can confirm it. If there's anything else he re- the caller requires, then he can call back and let me know. Like, I don't know. Does he want me to do like a little tour of my of my <laughs> my? No, knowing Rick, um, knowing Rick, he'd be like, "Well, what color socks are you wearing today?" And we're like, "Why does that even matter?" He's like, "It matters." That's how Rick would. Do Australians it. <laughs> don't. Australians don't wear socks, mate. See? Trick question. No see, see, I tried to trick her. I tried to. I knew that about Australians, but I tried to throw her. She's gonna be like, "I got my Bombas on." I'm like, "We're not even sponsored by them." Stop. You know. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Bomba socks. You never heard that those commercials before. No. You are Australian then. There, there you go. There's like yeah. three proofs. She doesn't uh, get the Bombas commercials on all, every podcast ever. And she doesn't mind fucking killing uh, three examples. for. So she doesn't mind killing spiders with her bare hands. She laughs about it after I'm disgusted. <laughs> and what was the third one? And we also, you, the, the amount of tomato sauce to a meat pie ratio, like if you don't, if, if your meat pie isn't like, the way to eat a meat pie in Australia is you either shove the whole thing in your face at one. Like when you're at the footy, you have to. You can only eat it with one hand, obviously, because you got your beer in your other hand. So you got to eat it like that. Or when you're at home, you have to take the lid off the pie and you fill the the pie up with so much tomato sauce that it like leaks out everywhere. Which commit, which is ketchup to you guys okay we, so the third can. uh the third thing is she says tomato not ironically like she means it, that to be pronounced that way that's australian for yes. sure so yeah, perfect <laughs> you say tomato <laughs> i say tomato do you think that song is like free now can i use it without getting in trouble because i could end the. I've, oh yeah maybe it might be in the public domain i'm not sure public domain that's what it's called yeah 
Yeah, and we we always say our A's with a, and the A uh sound. Yeah. So past pasty tomato. Yeah. Pasta pasta. Like, yeah, and you haven't said cunt once, so that's kind of going against you. But I could, <laughs> I could get you there. <laughs> I'd probably hey, get you there. Look, if you were having this conversation with Bo, she would have said it at least six times by now. So <laughs> for sure, but people wouldn't even known Bo was there. No, that's uh, true because we all sound the same. Yeah. See, there's another plus for you of being Australian. I, if we figure out Rick, she's fucking. I mean, I don't know who called. No, I don't know who's Australian? Thank you, Cola, for your. <laughs> thank you, Cola, for your your call and um yes i hope i have um i hope i've answered your question another mystery um, solved and if i haven't you are more than welcome to come and visit me in australia and um i will show you around and prove to you that we actually do exist <laughs> thank you for taking my uh questioning i'm sorry i had to be so harsh when i got in here you know i didn't want oh, to be that's like okay. that it's just i understand you, it's, you're doing it for to. the fans it's not even for the fans. It's like if when I get a mystery in me, I can't stop myself. I need I know. to know. Somebody throws a call my way, so people more people should call. I'll I'll figure it out for them, even if it's ridiculous. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So one eight five five private dicks. P R V T D I X. P R V T D I X. Yeah. So I got in another three weeks. I'll do another one. Just telling you, I, I got another mystery, a big one too. This one's super fucking important. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched Private Dicks and I think RJ's the funniest. What? Come on! Hey there, all you private dickheads. That's probably not the name we're gonna stick with. Anyways, uh, RJ here. I am here to tell you thank you for listening to another episode of Private Dicks. If you liked what you heard, go on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere they take your reviews, drop us five stars, say something nice. Also, what you just heard was from last season. If you want current episodes as they're dropped, head on over to patreon.com and search up Unethical Podcast. That's our mother podcast. I was not aware Private Dicks was a spinoff. I'm going to renegotiate my contract. On Patreon is a full 16-episode season more of Private Dicks, uncut videos of each episode, and many more things are getting added all the time. You can also find all of Unethical's content on there, so go listen to that. And... If you're already a patron, fuck yeah, dude. You're the best.